It's completely random, okay? going and we just feel the pulse and think about yesterday's lunch. Was it good? Think about tomorrow's dinner. Keep going. I'm going to play the tune. Keep going. a duet. <laughs> and I didn't know what he was going to do. I just played the tune. And it didn't sound so bad. And there was a moment when we were actually playing in octaves for about three notes. But that may not be what you want to do, but notice that if it happens, it doesn't sound so bad. So one of our goals here is to be able to be a little bit loose and relaxed about when things go wrong, so to speak. Because usually, well, I would say almost always, it's when something happens that you don't intend, it sounds worse to you than it does to the person who's listening to it. And often, we think it sounds bad simply because it wasn't what we intended. But usually, especially when it's uh, improvisation in a particular style, nobody else knows that you didn't intend it. So you might as well intend it. <laughs> okay, so see, let's see if uh, we can do this now, not as a duet, but as a solo. And so what I'm going to ask is, that as he does this, when he's completely comfortable with the left hand motion, that he bring in the right hand, but just let the left hand continue. Don't try to adjust the left hand to do anything other than motion, okay? Sure, so start with the left hand and, and let it go for a while because this is, this is your ongoing sort of symphonia and the, Melody just comes in at various intervals. a small mistake on your handout. The uh, beginning of the second line, well, at the end of the first line, there should be the note C added. I wrote this out while I was listening to the news. <laughs> That's what happens. Okay, so then when you are comfortable with that, 
You will notice, by the way, what he just did with the left hand corresponds to one C on your handout. You can start either with the left hand working or with the right hand, in which case what he would do would be as in one B. So let's give that a try. He's going to hold the, the high F with his uh, right hand, fifth finger, and then begin the motion with the other four fingers of his right hand. Go ahead. Sure, yeah, that's good. hand. Very nice. So, very well done. Very well done indeed. Did you notice the parallel octaves? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, all of these things that we are doing right now, it's presumed that you wouldn't wait until communion on Sunday morning to put this into practice, but rather you would be practicing this Saturday and Friday, and Thursday, and Wednesday, and Tuesday. Because what improvisation historically is, is something that people practice as much as they practice repertoire. We've lost that from our idea of education today, and I'm not sure we can ever get it back, but we try to get it back as much as we possibly can. The ability to do something on the spur of the moment is not unconnected from what you do when you practice all of these moves. Because what our ancestors did, of course, was to practice at the keyboard the movements of composition. So that when the moment came, when they had to do something unprepared, they were already prepared. How many people heard Jason Roberts this morning? Terrific. He's really wonderful. And I know from having worked with Jason when he was a graduate student at Yale that he practiced some of those same things that you heard today, some of those same techniques. He practiced them long hours in order to be able to do them successfully in his improvisation classes. So, practice. And when you practice, and something like this happens, when you, when you notice parallel octaves, here's what you might think about. First of all, don't say, oh my goodness, it was parallel octaves. This is the most awful thing that's ever happened. I'm a bad person, and I should give up now. No, you, you say, you shrug, and you say, parallel octaves. Let's see what we can do about it. What we can do about it in this situation is that we just engage our bodies to do something else. In order to play parallel octaves, you have to go this way. <laughs> so you want to engage your body to do something else. Let your body act symmetrically, and that goes away immediately. So if you just put yourself into sort of symmetrical mode, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one.